guys welcome the channel is Nazvin this is where we get to talk matters medical in a simple language which you can understand and kindly if you have not subscribed I want to encourage you to subscribe because that is the best way in which you can get to support us by liking the video you get YouTube to recommend us to the larger population so that uh, this very important information gets to the larger population guys we love you very much our channel is really growing and i'm very happy about the growth and kindly i request you like i'm giving you five seconds that you get to subscribe to our channel kindly take the five seconds the five seconds starts now subscribe guys Thank you very much. Welcome back. So, guys, uh, when we talk about uh, male fertility and when we talk about uh, how it gets affected, uh, we've done a video on the foods which naturally boosts our male fertility levels. And kindly, if you have not watched uh, the, the video, kindly get to find the title of the video. The 12 foods which boost our or get uh, 12 foods which boosts uh, your or get to boost our 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 fertility in a natural way apart from the other ways which we normally conven conventionally discuss so this is very important that you get to watch the video on the natural ways in which we can improve our fertility so on the continuation of from our previous video uh, I want to talk uh, on the male fertility and how we can improve it and when we talk about managing male fertility how we manage male fertility uh, it involves holistic approach that includes dietary changes it involves uh, lifestyle modifications it involves also when necessary medical interventions so i'm going to give you key strategies for managing male fertility so number one is about health diet which is nutrient rich foods so by by nutrient rich foods we are like we talked from our, our start of the video incorporate foods rich in vitamins minerals especially the zinc and antioxidants which supports uh, sperm health essential nutrients ensure things like zinc selenium vitamin c vitamin e folate and omega-3 fatty acids are involved also on on this on the diet we also encourage hydration stay well hydrated six to eight glasses of water in a day as uh, dehydration can impact sperm production and also quality so after we talk about healthy diet number two we are talking about regular exercise so moderate physical activity uh, engage in regular uh, more to moderate exercise to maintain healthy weight and also improve uh, overall health of an, of the of the individual so also very important which we need to understand avoid over training when we talk about regular exercise we don't mean that you kill yourself so we want you to avoid overtraining because excessive exercise or intense exercise can negatively impact the testosterone levels and sperm, and sperm production in turn so as much as we encourage exercise it's very important guys that you get to do it within the limit so that you avoid overtraining the third aspect is about maintaining a healthy weight when we talk about weight management achieve and maintain healthy weight according to your body size well, we talk about we are talking about bmi maintain your bmi to be below 24.9 uh, that is now the normal weight so that you don't go uh, to 30 to, to, and when we get overweight it becomes a problem because obesity is linked to lowering uh, the sterile levels and a decrease in sperm quality at the end of the day also body fat reduction is very important 
So focus on reducing excess body fat uh, through diet and also exercise by avoiding uh, foods high in fat content and also reducing uh, and also with good exercise you get to burn those extra fats in your body. Number four, avoid toxins and environmental hazards. By this I mean chemical exposure where you minimize exposure to environmental toxins such as pe pesticides that is why we now globally it is being encouraged that we take organic food and we avoid the pesticides heavy metals such as lead and industrial chemicals so the, for those who work in the industries because that is where also men work uh, always protect yourself well from those industrial chemicals which can negatively impact the health of the sperm Radiation is one of the also way of avoiding environmental hazard. So avoid excessive exposure to radiation and heat, which can damage the sperm production. Number five is about healthy lifestyle choices. And when we talk about healthy lifestyle choices, we want to say you should quit smoking if you are smoking. Smoking negatively affects sperm count, motility, and also morphology. Quitting smoking can improve uh, overall sperm health. Number two is about limiting alcohol consumption, reduce alcohol intake, and if possible, avoid it. As excessive uh, alcohol intake can lower testosterone levels and impair uh, sperm quality. Moderate caffeine intake is also another aspect of healthy lifestyle choices. Caffeine has been uh, seen to affect sperm production because, and also affecting the quality of the sperms. So limit caffeine intake to avoid potential negative effects on sperm quality. Number six is about stress management. And especially this month is for male uh, mental health awareness month. This is the month of June. So stress management is very important for men because Stress has been seen to affect a lot of men. So men, it's very important that you get to manage your stress by learning stress reduction techniques like uh, practice mindfulness, meditation, deep breathing exercises, and the yoga to lower your stress level, levels, which can affect uh, negatively uh, your fertility. But if you are participating in them, you get to get a positive impact on your fertility. So things like practicing mindfulness, meditation, deep breathing exercises, and yoga to lower your stress levels, which can uh, positively impact uh, the fertility. Work-life balance is very important. Men overwork sometimes. So maintain healthy work-life, balance to reduce stress, and improve overall well-being. Number seven, adequate sleep men it has been seen that men don't sleep most of the time or if they are sleeping they don't have that quality sleep so adequate sleep we mean aim for seven to nine hours of quality sleep each night as poor sleep can negatively impact the steroid levels and sperm production <laughs> number nine another aspect of uh, this uh, number eight is medical management is very crucial where you go for regular uh, checkups, men have regular checkups with the healthcare provider to monitor reproductive health and address any issues regarding uh, which can affect your fertility. Also, supplements can come up where we consider supplements if dietary intake as a challenge uh, or is insufficient. But before you take those supplements, like I always say, consult with your healthcare provider so that they may approach it in a best way which can really help you before you start on any new uh, supplement regimen. Medications are also very important. If necessary, there are special medications which you are with the underlying conditions or you have any underlying issues which can affect your fertility. These can be controlled by your healthcare provider. Number nine is about uh, sexual health. Always practice safe sex, men. So safe sex is very important. Is uh, very 
important to be practiced by men and by this i mean uh, when we talk about uh, safe sex we want to practice safe sex to avoid sexual transmitted infections and uh, that can affect uh, fertility at the end of the day regular uh, by, by regular intercourse is also very important regular intercourse especially during the fertile, uh, the partner's fertile period which can increase the chances of conception so men or ladies care to understand that you can't conceive any other any time the lady has been asked to be when you this if you want your lady to conceive it has to be within that period of ovulation when the egg has been produced so that the lady can conceive at that particular time so know you know the fertile window which can increase the chances of conception I think I will do a video on how you to count your fertile days or how you count for your lady those fertile days is very crucial for conception at the end of the day. Managing, uh, so we've talked about the nine aspects of uh, which you manage strategies of managing fertility. Number one, I talked about healthy diet. Number two, I talked about regular exercise. And on this regular exercise, I've talked also about as much as you exercise, you should avoid overtraining. After number three, I've talked about maintaining a healthy weight. Number four, I've talked about avoiding toxins and environmental hazards. And also number six, I talked about stress management. Number seven, I talked about adequate sleep. Number eight, I've talked about medical management. Number nine, I've talked about sexual health, where we in sexual health we talk about safe sex practice and also regular intercourse especially when your lady is ovulating or within the but your partner is within the fertile window which can increase the chances of conception so managing fertility in men is multi-faced approach it includes a healthy diet regular exercise uh, stress management and avoiding environmental toxins so regular medical checkups and the consultations with healthcare providers are essential for personalized advice and effective management strategies. So by adopting these practices, individuals can support their reproductive uh, health and improve the chances of achieving the conception. Unfortunately, sometimes we have the, the men developing complications related to fertility. So complications related to male fertility issues can impact both physical and emotional well-being and I'm going to mention some of the complications which come about which affect the male fertility. Number one is about infertility or the, that infertility. So and when we talk about infertility we are talking inability to conceive a child despite regular and protected sex or sexual inter, and protected intercourse for extended period of your of, of extended period usually scientifically they say when you are doing regular and protected sex for a year and you have not conceived usually one year or more that is a sign of infertility number two complication is psychological distress where feelings of frustrations may come in guilt shame or depression due to inability to father a child or fulfill the expectations of the family. Especially in Africa, uh, there's a lot of pressure when one doesn't conceive or they don't give up a baby in the family. So people can ask a lot of questions. They can really, uh, psychological distress can come in. Number three is about relationship strain. And uh, when we talk about relationship strain, difficulty in, in intimate relationship, Due to stress, communication breakdown, or blame placed on, on one partner for fertility issues at the end of the day. Low self-esteem also comes in as a complication. Negative self-image when because one now sees that they can't perform well, or diminished self-worth, stemming from feelings of inadequacy or failure related to fertility challenges. Number five is about social stigma. And when you talk about social stigma, perceived social stigma associated with male infertility, leading to isolation or avoidance of uh, social situations. Number six is about uh, financial burden as a complication of fertility. 
So expenses, uh, some these especially the fertility treatments can be very expensive, and because of those procedures which uh, can be done, especially if one is now is involved with IVF, uh, sperm uh, harvesting, and other other things, they can really strain one and also financially an impact of also the overall quality of life. Medical complications, underlying health conditions contributing to fertility issues such as hormonal imbalances, genetic disorders or anatomical uh, abnormalities also they are considered to be complications. Number eight, and that's very serious for men, is about risk of mental disorders. Increase, increased risk of developing anxiety disorders, mood disorders, or mental health conditions due, due to ongoing stress and emotional challenges. So, uh, this, one, this is one of the contributing factors of, uh, of uh, stress in men, and it can be really be straining for them. So, uh, so the, let us understand that the men with these fertility issues, they're likely to, to go into mental health disorders such as anxiety disorders, mood disorders, or other mental health uh, uh, conditions because of the stress and emotional challenges they are facing. Number nine, complication is impacts on masculinity, where perception of fertility as a threat to masculinity or virility, leading to feelings of uh, immunization and also inadequacy at the end of the day. <coughs> So with the, yes, guys, and also number, number 10, 10 is about reduced quality of life, where overall decline in quality of life uh, uh, due to physical, emotional, and social consequences of fertility, it can really affect, it can be one of the complications, so it affects the quality of life. Number 11 is about the impact on sexual function, so erectile dysfunction, uh, reduced libido, and also other sexual dysfunction issues stemming from the stress and psychological effects of the fertility challenges can also become another challenge. Number 12, last but not least, is certain is the health risks because certain fertility treatments or medications can carry uh, health risks or side effects, potentially impacting the long term uh, health and the well-being of uh, that man. So, in management of these complications, I've stated the 12 uh, complications. I've talked about the health, health risks because of the kind of procedures done. They can predispose a man to other conditions. Impact on the sexual function because of the psychological effect on it. So, stress and psychological effects of fertility changes, they can lead to erectile dysfunction uh, on the men. Also, number, another, another, another complication is reduced quality of life, impact on masculinity. I've talked about the risk of mental health disorders, uh, mental co medical complications also. Uh, uh, we have financial burden because of the, pro the procedures to correct this infertility in men can be very expensive. Social stigma can come in, low self-esteem, relationship strain, uh, psychological distress and infertility as a complication, uh, they are very obvious. So managing complications uh, related to male fertility can be very uh, it can be very big, can be very big issues. So it requires comprehensive approach that addresses both physical, emotional, and social aspects of well-being. So seeking support from healthcare provider pro or professionals, counselors, uh, or support groups can help the individuals navigate the challenges associated with the fertility struggles and improve coping strategies. Because open communication is very important and also mutual support within the intimate relationships are very essential to help mitigate the impact of fertility related complications on the mental health of the individual. How can we prevent these uh, complications? Preventing complications related to fertility issues involve proactive uh, measures aimed at uh, maintaining reproductive health and overall uh, well-being of an individual. So the key strategies uh, which can prevent the fertility issues, number one is about health lifestyle habits. And when we talk about health lifestyle habits, we're talking about balanced diet, where we are encouraged to consume diet rich in fruits, 
uh, vegetables, whole grain, lean proteins, and healthy fats to support overall health and fertility. Number two is about hydration. Seven to eight glasses of water in a day. Drink plenty of water to maintain hydration and support uh, sperm production. Number three on the on these healthy lifestyle habits is moderate exercise so that you don't strain a lot. Engage in regular physical activity to maintain a healthy weight and promote optimal reproduction, reproductive function. Number two is about avoid environmental toxins and when we talk about avoiding environmental toxins you limit exposure to toxins like pesticides pollutants and the chemical that may disrupt hormonal balance and impair fertility at the end of the day number two is about uh, protective gear so use protective gear and follow safety protocols but for those who are working in, with hazardous uh, substances or engaging in activities that may expose you to harmful chemicals or radiation. Number three is about regular health checkups, your routine exams, schedule regular checkups with the healthcare provider to monitor the productive health and address any concerns or symptoms uh, promptly. Also, screening te screen tests should, should undergo screening of sexually transmitted infections other, uh, and other conditions, so which may affect your health. Number four is the health habits. Number one is about quitting smoking, limiting uh, uh, alcohol, and also managing your stress because these things affect, uh, they can reduce your, uh, you, they can really uh, stress, uh, get you into problems. Like uh, 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 smoking uh, is, has been seen to impact the sperm quality and overall fertility. Alcohol affects impairs sperm production and the testosterone levels, and also stress also affects the uh, they they also affect your reproductive your reproductive health. So by reducing the stress, you get your uh, reproductive health to be uh, put into check. Also, maintain health weights as a way of avoiding the fertility issues. So weight management is very important by maintaining healthy weight through a balanced diet and regular exercise such as uh, to avoid obesity which can negatively affect sperm quality and also monobalance especially the testosterone. Protective measures, always use protection. We're talking about safe sex, use protective, always uh, use protection. Avoid overheating. Avoid prolonged exposure to high temperatures such as hot tubs or saunas which can temporarily reduce sperm production. So men take note of that as a protective measure. Number seven, seek support. So like I said, this, is, this June is a men uh, mental health uh, month. So with this, uh, consider uh, open communication men. So communicate openly with your partner about fertility concerns and seek support from loved ones or healthcare professionals. Counseling, if you need it, men, uh, get it. Consider seeking counseling or support groups to cope with the emotional challenges associated with the fertility issues. So by adopting uh, healthy habits, avoiding environmental toxins, attending regular checkups, maintaining healthy weight, and also seeking support when needed, is very crucial so that the individual can proactively prevent complication, complications related to male fertility issues. So taking proactive steps to protect uh, uh, reproductive health can improve overall fertility outcomes and also promote overall well-being. So guys, uh, diet and nutrition, exercise and weight management, avoiding environmental toxins, regular health checkups, health happy habits, uh, uh, protective measures, seeking support uh, are very important in implementing these approaches which can improve your reproductive health as an individual and help you mitigate the risk of complications and optimize the chances of achieving successful conception and maintaining overall well-being. So ma'am, ladies and gentlemen, that is, a, that is what we're, to, we're talking about, male fertility. And if there's video, if you like, if you've liked what we've discussed in this video, kindly like the video. 
by liking the video you get youtube to recommend us to larger population because we want this uh, information to reach as ma many people as possible guys i want to welcome you to our next video the channel is nazvin this is where we get to, to discuss matters medical in a simple language which you can understand you don't need to be a medical person to understand the the medical jargon because we don't use the jargon here we discuss these things in a simple language which everyone can understand so invite your uncle invite your aunts invite your grandma grandparents invite your sister your sibling so that we get to this kind of information which is really helpful to our well-being guys welcome and uh, we love you very much Peace guys, we love you very much.